Hello Troops and Toots, Gondor here and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. So, last time we defeated Garland, we saved the Princess of Corneria and we got a loot and some information. So, are you ready to cross this bridge and watch one of my most favourite scenes ever in this game? Come on then. And so, their journey began, or their journey begins. What awaits the four? They do not know. Each holding an orb that 2000 years ago shined with a beauty from within, but now only darkness. Come, start your journey, return the light of peace to our world. So yes, we now have to journey throughout the entire world, restoring the light to the four orbs, the orb of earth, the orb of fire, the orb of water, and the orb of wind. And as you all know in the remakes for the PS1 and PSP and the Dawn of Souls, the orbs were replaced with crystals, but their function still remained the same. The A team. Well, fool! Miss D don't need no sword! So, yeah, there we go. Now we can continue on with our adventure. Now, there is one thing that I did kind of forget to show you. If you hold the B button and then hold select, you'll bring up the world map. Now, for anyone who's played Decidia Duodecim, you will know that this is the exact same world map that Decidia Duodecim is based in. If you don't believe me, go check it out. Now, our destination is slightly to the north, so my dest- well, where I am right now, I'm that flashing cross. So I want to head to the north, to that small flashing dot. Well, we don't have to head there, but I'm going to head there anyway. And now we get a chance to strike first. We still get to fight some of the easier enemies, but this is the point where some of the more slightly stronger enemies are going to start coming into it. So, I'm going to have to be very careful, because even at level 5, like I said before, I can still take a hell of a lot of damage if I'm not careful. So through the trees we go, and getting into fights. With a spider. There we go, awesome. Taking it out in one hit is always good. Okay, here we are. Now if I'm right, this is... Yep, this is a place known as Metoya's Cave, and it has brooms which sweep themselves. Now, if we talk to this one, it says, Tekeles be Hesop, a magic spell. Now, basically what, well, if we read it again, you're actually supposed to read it backwards, or if you hold a mirror up to it, it will say, push B select. Now, that's exactly what I told you uh, a few minutes ago if you hold B and then push select. But unfortunately, it doesn't work inside dungeons or caves or um, towns. But instead, if you push select, this comes up. Here, you can rearrange your party. So if you want, I could put Jack where Glenn is, Glenn where Eddie is, and Eddie where Kara is. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep them exactly where they are. So here's some more brooms. I think they all say the same thing. And you can walk over these skulls. And here are some treasure chests. We got a pure in this one, a heal in this one, and a heal in that one. You're just gonna say the same thing, yeah. So anyway, this is Metoya. No, we actually have to talk to her. Where is my crystal? I can't see anything without it. Who stole my crystal? 
Now in the remakes, it's actually her glass eye that gets stolen, so we have to go and get it. Now we need to actually remember this place because we do actually have to get her um, crystal back to progress the story. Okay, now here's a new enemy. Ogres. Very, very deadly enemies, these things. So, we've just got to be careful. Wow, a critical hit from my white mage on an ogre. But Eddie missed. So yeah, that's why that I trained up to level 5, because that way I'll have a slight chance at winning. But these things can be very, very dangerous. Uh, we'll use lightning on this one. Because I'm pretty sure my black mage always has the first go. Hmm, 11 points of damage. Okay. Only 8 points of damage from Eddie? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, these things are going to take quite a while to take down. Maybe I should cast my sleep spell. Hmm. Yeah, I've really got to be careful. It seems these things have got good physical and magic defense. God, Eddie, you're always missing. Uh, maybe I should have had a white mage instead of a monk. Jesus, is this gonna... I really hope this doesn't take the entire video of me just taking out these ogres. Yeah, there we go, that's one down. Hmm, Carol took a bit of damage there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so how much EXP and guild did I get from that? 97 EXP? Ooh, 390 guild. Wow, well there you go ladies and gentlemen. If you stay about here and fight some ogres, you can grind for guild. Imps. Good, at least something easy. Something that even Eddie can hit, hopefully. Oh, I've just noticed Eddie's got 38 HP, I might have to heal him. Yay! Alright. So yeah, let's heal up Eddie. I think I'll use an item this time. Uh, we'll use heal on Eddie. There we go. Probably no as much healing strength as Kara's uh, cure spell, but it'll do. Right, let's bring up the world map and let's see where I need to go. Right, I need to go all the way to the east and down a bit. Okay. Okay, just some imps and grimps. Let's take out the grimps first. And then we'll have Glenn take out one of the imps. Good, one of the grimps is down. Mm, only five points of damage, okay, so these imps and grimps have slightly more defense because we're getting further away from our safe zone, as I'll call it. Yeah, sure, attack Jack. He's got the highest defense out of the lot, so I'm not really bothered if you attack him, as long as you don't get a critical on him. Okay, there we go. Right, so now we need to head... No, we still need to head east. Okay, yeah. Now, remember back in, I think, the first video when I was talking about mad ponies? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, this is what you don't want at a low level. So... I would probably advise I'm going to use Rose on Kara uh, and cast Sleep and hopefully they'll all go to sleep. Good, that's one asleep. That one's ineffective. 
That one's asleep. And that one's asleep. Good. Okay, so only one's awake. Okay, good. Terminated. That's one terminated. Okay. Now if they try and uh, attack Kara, they'll be having a hard time trying to hit her. Uh, Eddie missed. And a mad pony woke up. And so did the other one. But that first one seemed to have uh, went down pretty easy, so I'm not too fussed about it. Because I'm level 5, you know. So these mad ponies don't really scare me as much, but when I used to play this um, on my Wii, uh, I was kind of stupid. I went too far ahead without training a bit because you need a hell of a lot more experience to level up in this game. Well, this version of Final Fantasy 1. And um, yeah, I get slaughtered by four mad ponies. So you attack that, you attack that, and you two attack this one. Bam, 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 God, you missed. Hurry up and when I want to get to the next town so I can heal you guys up and I can buy more equipment for you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, and then just have these three attack this one. Oh, Glenn's only 24 HP. Gonna have to be careful. Might need to heal him up. Okay, good. So only one left. Right, attack, attack. You can heal Glenn and you can attack. Awesome. Alright, now before I go anywhere else, let's heal up Glenn. Just use magic. Thank you. Okay, again, heading east, and then we'll be heading south to our next destination. Oh, creeps. Yeah, you can usually find these things in the Chaos Shrine as well. And they kind of look like well, I can't remember if we did fight them, or if I showed them, but if I didn't, then well, here they are, but they kind of look like a witch's wart that's grown a mouth. Okay, so, alright, oh, yeah, that was Jack that got the critical hit. Hmm, can't do 26 points of damage. Right, Kara, you're gonna need to heal up yourself, and you can attack this one. Yeah, I think this is the point where some of my characters might end up getting knocked out. In effect, okay, well that's fine because you were attacking that, that one that was on the top. You can cure Glenn and you can attack. Something tells me maybe I should have leveled up to at least level 6 or something. Come on. Crackle hit, please take it out. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Now, come on, I'm so close to the next town. Right, I'm not going to take any chances. Right, I've got... Oh, great, I've got no cures left. In that case, I'll need to use an item. In fact, you know what? Let's use a cabin. Uh, save? Yeah, we'll save. I didn't really want to use a cabin, but... Might as well be safe and sorry, I guess. Okay, here we are. Our next town. Oh, there I see. We got into a fight, and it is with some... Wolves. GR Wolves. Imp. And GR Imps. And they see me get the first hit off. Which is wasting my time. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next video... We shall fight these wolves, group, GR wolves, grimps, and imps, and we shall make it to that little town. So I shall see you guys then.